Hello YouTube. In this video, I'm going to review a ROM called Mutaman ROM, which is actually based on Android 4.4.2. I'll show you. We go to the settings menu and then about device you can find here. I'm using version 5, and then uh, it is based on Android 4.4.2. This ROM is actually based on uh, QS i9300 ROM, which is very stable ROM and battery friendly ROM for the Galaxy S3. And then it is also using this buffalo kernel so it will be like powerful and very nice ROM I think and then it is a standalone zip file so on RM installation you can see it's easily installed it is Dinolux heavily debloated ROM first of all we will go and check the RAM usage if you go to the RAMs ok here is the RAM and then clear the memory we will get somewhere, somewhere around 600 which is very good so we will get more RAM for the other applications and then uh, look by look you can find uh, it is a S5 themed look and then if you go to the settings menu we have this uh, set wallpaper if you look at the wallpaper section sorry you look at the wallpaper on screen wallpaper I think it's not initial we can uh, set all those wallpapers anyway you got to set, set to the themes option there are two themes to choose from right now I am using this Samsung basic if I go to the iOS 7 ok now I applied iOS 7 which is like uh, not, uh, wallpaper from the Note 4 as well as the icon is from iPhone it is actually good look at the in uh, other options like if you can see the notification area which is themed as iPhone itself it is good if you go to the dialer you can find the dialer has this uh, call record option so you can record the call in and then beside that if you got the message option this is also from new version with safe mode and then notification options are there notification options you, you, you can use pop up display so even messaging options is new and then if you look at the play store you can find it is a new version of play store with material design for the latest lollipop If you go to the settings option, actually we can choose from two settings. One is normal interface, normal S3 interface, and if you so choose the second option, which is in the part of a not three, not four. So this is another kind of settings menu. If you look at in depth about the settings menu, we find download booster is there and then screen mirror you can I think it's work with this ROM and then in display we have a daydream and then we have this multi window option with, with multi window option with quad quad display I think yeah, it supports quad display. We can use four applications at the same time, and then it also supports drag and drop options as well, and then grouping as well as normal. Then, if you look at the keyboard, you can find you can see it's a customized keyboard, customized as Samsung keyboard only. Anyway, it looks good. look at the another, another options like in settings menu we have uh, in the lock screen okay we have this we'll check all the options for notification area we, we have this ultra power saving mode which will save more power by shifting it to a minimal user interface Okay, you can find the battery percentage 74 and then estimate the maximum standby time here. We have this settings. 
can add applications to that one and then that's it besides that if you look at this reading mode the multi window and then toolbox I think the toolbox is not working and then besides that we have uh, smart options like smart stay, smart pause and smart scroll is there the next option the notification areas is okay hands free mode is there and then uh, that's it and then touch insensitivity and of course well besides that if we go to the power settings menu you can have this grayscale mode which is from S5 and scaling which will uh, make it into a black and white mode which will save mode battery okay that is there in notification menu if you go to the settings menu in uh, device settings we have this lock screen options like lock screen unlock effects any effects like popping colors many effects from S5 actually sorry for that okay this is popping color and then a skipping stone and then watercolor, light color, light effect, ripple, oil paint those are from S4 sorry S5 oil paint and uh, oil then blind this is also a good one so that's in the notification lock screen and then in phone do we have something okay there's so other default phones are there and then blocking mode user so we can block incoming call and the notifications for a particular time then you can also block call and SMS using block list. So it's that in control there is one hand operation for all screen. And uh, in normal motion and just a settings are there it just won't work because there is lack of the hardware and then in general nothing more like there is a black op uh, app ops we can individually settings the control of a single app on different aspect of the system which is good uh, that is there and then if you go to the menu we will have music app this is a new music app with music sequence right now and then video option is I think also from S5 S planner it's also from S5 and then calculator is here S memo S4 voice recorder and then here is camera in camera this is actually Google camera not the Samsung camera so you get all the Google camera options like photosphere, panorama, lens, blur, camera, video, everything you'll get Three clock, explorer and it's not working and then if you get the gallery it's a new gallery it's a different kind of gallery And then Jave Javelin It's a tab actually, it's, it's a browser And we have this uh, UPS manager, we can manage all the applications you can see in the Ultra Power Saving Mode And then Super uh, That's it, overall it's actually a good ROM which minimal 
with minimal RAM usage in that all its performance is good and if you need to know how to install this ROM there is a link in the description which will show you how to install it that's it thanks for watching please subscribe for more